Well, hello again. In this session, what I want to talk about is something that people often ask me, risk ownership, or more importantly, or, or more correctly, the different elements of ownership across the organization as it relates to risk. Now, there are three distinctive types of ownership within the risk management program or within the risk management process itself. So obviously we have the risk owner. Now the risk owner is the person who has the most knowledge um, about the particular risk. It, it might be within their, within their remit in terms of their responsibilities. But we need to make sure that the risk owner has the necessary level of, author of authority to be able to um, spend resources, to be able to make sure that he, can task, he or she can task people to undertake the treatment strategies that might be directed towards that particular risk. Then we have the control owner. Now, as you would be aware, when we identify a risk, we look at what the risk uh, title is or the, the event that can happen, what would cause it to occur, what its consequences would be. But then we ask the fundamental que question, what controls are currently in place and how effective are those controls? Now, every single control within an organization needs to have a control owner. And that control owner is responsible for oversight of the control to make sure that it's effective. They are also responsible for the measurement or directing the measurement of the effectiveness of that control. They are responsible for updating and reviewing that particular control over time. And they are also responsible for informing not only the risk owner, but also the executive for um, very important controls where that control is starting to be become less effective. So we have the risk owner who is responsible for the risk. We have the control owner, and those, those, in most cases, will not be the same people. The third and final element of ownership is the treatment owner. Now, the treatment owner is not necessarily going to be the risk owner or the control owner. In, once again, in most cases, they won't be. But the controller, sorry, the treatment owner, they have the responsibility for undertaking the treatment plan or undertake the treatment strategy that has been directed or that they've been directed to do. So we have these three levels. So the risk owner, the control owner and the treatment owner. Each of them needs to know what the other are doing. There needs to be communication, constant communication between those owners. That is particularly the case for um, risks within the organization where the consequences of failure are of the highest level. So if you do not have ownership assigned to your risks, you need to do that. And it needs to be a single individual. It cannot be a committee or it cannot be all staff. That is not risk ownership. Control ownership, once again, needs to be allocated to a single individual. And treatment strategies like the other two single individuals. If you do not or have not got that in your treatment or in your risk register, then you really need to do that. Because if there's no ownership, nothing is going to happen. Remember, risks without owners will never be managed. Neither will controls and treatments without owners will never be done. That's all I've got for this session. As always, let's be careful out there.